Welcome back to another episode guys. This week's episode is going to be a little bit different. We're going to give you a tour of our bunk area with our little grommets. We're going to show you all of the hints and tips that we've learned from three years of traveling and share our knowledge with you guys. We hope you like it and if there's anything that you have questions about please leave a comment and we'll get back to you. through the kids bunk area with you um, we've got we've all we've all right guys yeah. all right guys I'm gonna go through the kids bunk area with you today I'm going to show you all our tips tricks hints about how it functions for us as a traveling family we've been on the road for three and a half years so we We've figured out what works for our kids and as kids grow as well things change so this may not work for your kids if they're little or they're older but this is what works for us um, but hopefully you can take away something from here and it works for you I'll start off with the extras that we added we added Ciroc fans to each bunk area we also added extra large windows in the kids bunks and a rooftop hatch. This allows extra airflow. I cannot stress enough how much you need airflow through the bunks area. Being at the back here or even in any sort of layout, it gets a little stuffy in the small little areas that they get. So we feel like the more breeze the kids get, the better it airs out for them and they get a better night's sleep. We also added a TV point for the kids so the kids can connect to the Nintendo um, watch TV if they want to we've been in this van now for about six months and we actually haven't used it our kids don't really watch too much TV um, would I add it again probably not but the thought was there when we were doing it the kids all have leather pouches as well that we've added um, it does come with leather pouches but we went for a larger set so the kids would actually put their iPads in their keyboards and all their little GoPros that they've got um, our pouches work really well for our kids so if I think mum and dad were to change anything in the kids area is um, the pouches only make it one big pouch instead of two because the small one cannot fit anything in it. The pouches have USBs and lights in, incorporated within the whole thing. And that's pretty much all I added as extras in the bunk area. Um, things that I have done to make it more functional in here now. So I added hooks for all the kids' hats because I'm so sick of them never having anywhere to put their hats. So the kids all have hooks. They have a hook each um, and they hang their bags, their hats, their beanies. The hooks are great because they hold quite a lot. The kids have one big cupboard that they have a shelf each in that they store all their clothes in. Now I have found these awesome little things from um, Target that I have labeled which has whatever's in each pouch, pajamas, t-shirts, shorts and what have you not. Um, it works really well. The kids do have very minimal clothes. They probably have seven days worth of clothes all up. Um, we feel like they don't need any more because we've got a washing machine and we wash, I guess. Um, there's no point in having lots of clothes and most of their stuff isn't big and bulky. They have one jacket each and a pair of tracky pants, but because we're always following the sun, they don't really need the big bulky warm clothes. So um, this is what the kids have for all their clothes and this is where their clothes are stored. Now also Lani has her nappies and her wet ones stuck in there because she's still toilet training. Now the kids bunk areas come with bed rails that are awesome because they fold down and they fold up. Now our two bigger kids sit in the top two bunks so most of the time they fold down. Um, I've never really had them up but if you've got little kids it's a great little thing. Lani doesn't have one on the bottom shelf because there's really probably 
10 centimeters for her to crawl out of which doesn't really happen and her bed has a bit of a lip in it as well mommy Right. Yes, darling. I will talk. No. I just wanted to add that in between each bunks, the clearance is 500, and the bunks are 2 meters and 23 centimeters long, and the width across the bunks are 740. So I hope that helps you as well. I love these bunk bags because they're super long and then I can store some of my toys that don't fit in my toy box down in the back. So the kids have a ladder to get into the bunks. Um, Peyton is the only one that needs one up the top here to get into her bunk bed. And I love this ladder. It's not telescopic or anything, but I just feel like if you were going to have a ladder built into the bunk beds, it would restrict a lot of airflow in the bunks. Um, with this, I can take it off once Peyton's in her bed. She can grab it. I just put it against the wall at night time. Um, and it, they still have lots of room and airflow to get in and out. When we're traveling, the ladder just sits on top of one of the bunk beds. Um, we don't fold it away or anything, and it's quite easy to take on and off, um, and it's very light. Now the kids have a sliding door in their bedroom. This is fantastic for when we're having a shower late at night or we need to go to the toilet so it doesn't disturb them sleeping. Our kids have a pretty strict bedtime. Um, Lani goes to bed at 7.30, Peyton and Kobe go to bed at 8.30. Um, I think having a good bedtime routine is fantastic for the children when they're traveling and it gives mum and dad some time to do what they need to do. Oh yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> So one of the biggest questions I get asked is what sheets do I use for the beds? My kids' beds are 2.2 meters long. Now they're narrow, but they fit just a stock standard fitted sheet, which works out fantastic because I don't have to get custom made sheets. I also have got the kids single doonas that they had and just got them altered now all i did was measured the width of my bunk beds and and put the doonas so there was 10 centimeters hanging over each side of the mattress and sliced it up each side which i cannot tell you the measurements because i had somebody do it for me i'm really sorry i'm sorry i've been an idiot I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. You ask me that all the time and I'm super, super sorry. Um, but if you get your mattress and you lay the doona over the top and you just get a black outline marker and just draw down the side of the mattress, even if you take the mattress out and do it, I actually did it like that. At least it allows for the doona to be tucked in either side. Now you always comment about how neat my bunk beds are. I personally think it's because I've trimmed those single doonas down and it makes it very neat. Um, the kids find it very easy to make their beds. So again, the kids have just a stock standard single sheet. Their doonas have been trimmed down, but they were just a standard single doona cover. And all their bedding, you guys ask me this quite a lot as well, is just from Adairs. The kids' mattresses, they're just the standard mattresses that come with the Lotus bunks. Um, I didn't feel the need to have to change them. The kids think that they're comfortable. I have slept in them many of nights and they are comfortable. So once every month, I pull the mattresses out. They're quite light and I let them get some sun in them, kill all the germs in there, spray them down with some Febreze or some On Guard just to kill any germs that are festering in the mattresses. Um, but I will show you now, because the mattress have been outside all day, how I make the beds. Um, it's really easy. It's not as hard as lots of you think. Um, I do find with this layout, it is a lot easier compared to the other layout that we have, because I have a bit more room to make the beds. And maybe because the beds, I don't actually know why. They're a bit bigger. I don't know. It just works better.
can see the Duna set flush. There's no bulky edges and they're tucked in on the sides. The sheets are nice and fitted and everything looks quite sleek. The kids have a blanket that I keep on the end of their beds just from Kmart and as we start to get into hotter weather they probably won't use their doonas they'll just use the little blankets over the top of them we don't put a fitted sheet on because I just find it too hard to make the beds with a fitted sheet on in the bunk area and our kids would just kick them down to under the doona but as you can see everything looks very neat thanks for watching guys i hope this helps you and if there's anything you want to know leave a comment and we'll and we'll answer your questions see you guys so i don't know what to say <laughs> so i love climbing up and down the ladder no what do you love about your bunk beds your bed Leaving it and going to sleep with mum. Your comfy bed. Because <laughs> <laughs> you sleep with mummy all the time. Oh, don't be shy. No, I don't want to do Um, And yeah, I will show you the kids' sheets and that. Once I make their beds, how I sort it out.